Hey Gilligans, what's kickins? On the last episode, I asked you to guess what Pokemon I had drawn, and many of you in the comments said it was Voltorb. And then I also realised that there were actually a couple Pokemon with a similar shape, as many of you also guessed Electrode. So, I'm going to count both of those as the same answer, but it doesn't matter anyway because it's Ekans! <laughs> Great! <laughs> Let's go! So here I am you guys, I have just finished another rigorous training session in the Santaloon Forest. I brought my other two Pokemon up to speed, brought them up to level 8, because that's a lucky number. I tried to go for lucky number 7, but then I accidentally got too much XP and they hit level 8. So, um, Chew, the Pikachu, and Bervisay, the Pidgey, are both level 8, and Shoe, my chest pin, my prize chest pin, is level 10. So we will start... Heading down Route 3, I think we're going to have to battle this guy. Hey, little buddy. Mummy told me that I should battle anyone who greets me. Oh, it's just a preschooler. Preschooler Oliver. A Caterpie. Now, my team has had much experience squishing bugs back in Santaline Forest, so there shouldn't be too much of an issue. Again, when I say squishing bugs, I, I don't mean I'm, I'm killing them. They're just fainting. It's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, use a rollout. It'll be super effective, she. Come on. That's the stuff. Didn't even know it hit him. An Azuril. Ooh. We're going to switch Pokemon, switch to the electric type shoe. Chew, sorry. <laughs> Go to Pick up E! There we go. He's a Thundershock on it, Chew. Okay, just one more. One more should do it. It's just splashing. This is going to do nothing. There we go. That's the stuff, Chew. Nice hit. Good job. There we go. Awesome. We defeated a preschooler. I, I feel so great. Mummy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. But now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Um, I've I have come to the realization that Shoe and Chew might be confusing so from now on we will refer to the Pikachu we'll give it a nickname for its nickname and it will be called Pikachu that will be slightly less confusing uh, we've got another trainer here to battle I think hey come on that was really hard I just let Pichu do what it wants oh my gosh a Pichu that's the pre-evolved form of Pikachu preschooler Ella sent out a Pichu here we go it's just a it's just one Pichu. This shouldn't be an issue at all. Or is it Pichu? I'm getting confused with pronunciations now. Just vine whip it, Chew. Chew. <laughs> Good job. That was simple. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore the paralysis. You're fine. We, we beat another preschooler. That's great. <laughs> This isn't making me feel like a champion trainer. I'm just picking on little kids. This isn't fair. An item down there. Oh! Who was that? What was that? Went by on like roller skates. Can't go that way yet. Oh, one more trainer. Here we go. Hey, my Pokemon and I are studying. You want to join us? Schoolgirl Bridget. Okay, it's not a preschooler anymore. They're actually in school, so maybe it'll be a bit more of a challenge. A bidoof. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this, again, should be pretty easy. Just buy and whip it again, she. Come on. It's a growl from a bidoof. That shouldn't really intimidate you. You could... Oh, the paralysis is kicking in. Okay. Well, just... Just do your best. Come on, keep fighting it. One of these has got to go through. There we go. Okay, we're going to switch you out. 
We're gonna bring in we're bringing Bird for say. Needs a little chance to shine. Level eight now, like I said, so has has an extra move. Um It's just a growl. That's fine, that's fine. The extra move is a sand attack, so ignore that, we just tackle. There we go, one more tackle should do it, Beth say. Ignore the growls, ignore the growls. I mean, what noise is that growl even making? It's a bit deep, it's just going, nah! <laughs> there we go, good job, Beth say. Good job, Shu. Heck yeah. Level 11 Shu as well. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wants to learn bite, we can do that. Should a move be deleted and replaced with bite? Yes, we are gonna replace We replace growl, so we have a type we have a, an attacking an attacking move that covers four different types. There we go. Ta da! She forgot how to growl and she learned how to bite. Awesome. Just studying isn't enough. I need to practice more with real battles. Okay. Let's see what kind of wild Pokemon I want. Ooh, an item. A super potion. We haven't really taken that much damage, but that'll be useful to have in the future. We've got wild grass. Let's see if we can... Ooh, okay, it's a trainer battle. That's fine. The best way to learn about a move is to have your Pokemon use it. Oops, schoolboy Br school Brighton. A Pan Sage. We do not have any fire type moves. Try try out your new bite, Shu. Come on, let's see if this does anything cool. It's just scratching you. Look, it hasn't even got any fingernails. It's fine. That's pretty kicking rad, Shu. That was a nice bite. We're going to use more of that, I think. A Pansier. We'll keep you in shoe. You can do this. It's a fire type. So it would actually be better to use a rollout against him. Oh, it's using play nice. What are you doing, shoe? What is that? <laughs> Ignore that. Just roll out. Oh, dear. Try one more time, shoe. Ignore the scratches. Ignore the scratches. Oh, super effective. One more. One more should do it. Oh, yeah. Good job, Shu. Now, they're probably going to have a pan pour as well. There we go. We will switch for that. Uh, wait, no, we have a vine whip. We, we can cover all bases. That's fine. Okay, stop rollouting and switch to a vine whip attack. Now she. Ignore the play nice. I don't know why it's making you dance with it. Stop dancing, she. <laughs> Just whip it. There we go. Amazing. Good job, she. You took out all the monkeys. You got 40 XP. We're going to try and encounter some of the wild Pokemon on this route. We haven't encountered any of those yet. We'll just see what we can find, what we can add to our team. Go. Wait, what will it be? It's a a fletchling. Oh my gosh, it's a bird Pokemon. It's that bird Pokemon that woke us up that Callum uses as well. We we want to get that on our team. Just do just do a nice little tackle on it, Shu. Not too not too not too much. Not too much. Just gentle, a gentle tackle. Or or be paralyzed. That's fine. Come on, come on. That would do. That would do. We'll try and catch it now, Shu. Just hang in there, buddy. Here we go. We got a lot of Pokeballs from Callum, so this should be fine. Come on, Fledgling. That's the stuff. Good job. Great. We have now got a Fletchling on our team. And you got 40 XP. Good job, Shu. Fletchling say it was added to the Pokedex. 
Fledgling. These friendly Pokémon send signals to one another with beautiful chirps and tail feather movements. Thanks, Pokédex! Give a nickname to the court Fletchling, of course we will. Although, we've got quite a conundrum going on here. We've got two bird Pokémon on our team now. Um, and I need to find my Stylus! Stylus! Stylus, where are you, buddy? I need you! Oh, there you are! You're always by my side, Stylus! I love you ever so much! No, Stylus, stop! The world isn't ready for our love! <laughs> right, we will call you... Birdface the second! But we've got quite an issue going on here because we have two bird Pokemon. One is a Pidgey, which you guys have probably seen before from many other generations, so... Oh wait! What's that bird for say the Pidgey? You're in love with another Pidgey and you want me to release you so you can go on a journey together and fall in love and make Pidgey eggs. Ah, oh, it's just like one of my Japanese animes. So, so we will add, we will add Bearface to our team. That's good. That's good to go. But Pidgey, it it feels like we've only known each other for like a week, but we've been together in upwards of two battles, and I really feel like we've made a connection. I will always remember you, Pidgey, the first Pokemon I ever caught. Please don't forget me. Every night in my dreams. I see <laughs> What are we gonna do, Pidgey? We're gonna release you out into the world and we're gonna show off at the same time this new feature of the Pokemon X and Y called Wonder Trade. So we just save the game. We will start a Wonder Trade, Pidgey. Bird for say, thank you once again for everything you have done for me. I got you to level 8. We did actually go through quite a lot of battles together. You are. You are an awesome Pokemon. I am proud to have once had you on my team, but I will release you now into the wild. Go find love. Find that Pidgey. And we will see what we get in return. How Wonder Trade works is you just put up a random Pokemon, you get a random Pokemon back. So we'll see what we get. Okay guys, um, after many wonder trades, I got loads of different Pokemon that were like level 40 and above and all this crazy stuff I've never seen before. But we finally got something called a Flabebe, which I will bring up on the screen now. Here it is, a little adorable Flabebe. It's a grass fairy. Oh no, it's just a fairy type. And it's level 11, so that's fine. It's just like Shu. So we're good. We're good with that. We, we stick with Flabebe the fairy. We've got our first fairy type as well, which is a completely new type. I will always remember Bird for Say, but we now have Flabebe. <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't nickname it because it's come from someone else, but Flabebe is kind of fun to say, so that's fine. We've got Shu, Flabebe, Pikachu and Birdface the Fletchling. Birdface, Birdface the second. Birdface Junior. I don't know. <laughs> so there we go. That's our team now. Nice type coverage there. Many new Pokemon actually. We've got three new Pokemon from this generation and a Pikachu. So. Hey, what's up? I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Good for you. Oh, we appear to be entering Santa Loon City. Here we are. Right, and straight away we got the Pokemon Center. Went, oh, what's that? Is that? Could this be the clothes shop? That would be awesome. It is. Welcome. If you'd like, check the items at the back of the shop. Okay, we've got hats. We've got new hats. Oh my gosh. We've got a felt hat. Cycling cap. Our logo cap, that is that is the typical Pokemon trainer hat. I think we are going to have to buy that one. And I can afford it, so that's good. I will buy that item. There we go. Uh, can we try it on? There, we can try it on in here, I'm assuming. Oh, you want to use the fitting room? Well, take your time. It won't be long, I'm just putting on a hat. Uh, hat, we are putting on... No, we've got that one. 
What one did we just buy? That one, the logo cap. There we go. What else have we got? We got a green baby doll t-shirt. Ah, it did, in the last episode, it said that my mum packed me some clothes. So I'm assuming these are the other clothes. So there we go. We're now wearing, instead of that, instead of that dress we had before, we've now got skinny jeans and a green t-shirt and a really cool Pokemon trainer hat. And the styling sunglasses still. So I think we'll go with that. That's much more my style. I am looking styling there. The colours are clashing a bit, but that's fine. Here we go. We're ready to take Santaline City by storm. The new styling Zoe Pro. There's a gym in this town, I believe, as Callum said. So we'll just heal up our Pokemon and we'll try and find where that is. Oh, hey, Tiano. Oh, hey there, Pro as heck. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon centers sure are great! You can talk to the lady at the counter and have her heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go! Awesome, thanks Tiano. Nice moves. Oh yeah, pro as heck! There's a Pokemon in the back of a Pokemon Center too. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemon. Thanks Tiano! You stay awesome. Hi, I'm here to heal my Pokemon. Good evening. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. There we go. I've got four Pokemon. You can see them on the screen up the top there. A little Fletchling, a Pikachu, a Chespin, and a Flabebe. We hope to see you again. Well, that would imply that I'm a bad trainer. But okay. Um... <laughs> Right, let's find that gym in Santaline City, the traditional city. Oh man, this city's got a fountain too. Look at that, is that a Roselia? I think it is, awesome. Hey, do you know where the gym is? Oh, what a wonderful hat. It really suits you to a T. There are so many boutiques in the different towns of the Kalos region. It's a real treat to travel around. Thank you, didn't answer my question, but yes, this is a styling hat. I just bought it. Um, the trainer's school for Pokemon Basics. I don't think we need that. And here's the gym, I think. I think this is the gym. Who are you? Hey, stranger. Isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest. Not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Well, sure, if we get roller skates, that sounds awesome. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. Okay, so she's going to be using some speedy Pokemon, I think. What's she going to be using? A roller skate Rinka. A Zigzagoon. We've already fought one of those, but it is quite a fast Pokemon. We'll see if it gives us any issue. What we do, we bust out the Flabebe that we just got through the... I love saying that, Flabebe. We, b <laughs> we bust out the Flabebe we just got in the Wonder Trade. Here we go, we'll see what it can do. Go for a baby! Oh my gosh, look at that adorable little thing! It's flying on a little flower! Okay, for a baby! Fairy wind! Let's see what this does. It's a new fairy type move. Whoa! Good job, for a baby! Ignore the tail whip, so you can just keep using Fairy Wind. That's awesome. Give us a little lucky chant. Shielded your team from critical hits. Oh my gosh, Flabebe, baby. You are a little support healer, aren't you? That's adorable. Although you can pack quite a punch with that Fairy Wind. Do that again. Amazing! Awesome! This full of Bebe is going to take us far, I think, along with Shu and Pikachu and Birdface. We've got quite the team, and Shu is level 12! You have to have the battle before I could reach my top speed! There we go. I'm feeling confident about taking on this gym now, you guys. Wow, that was amazing! You might even be stronger than a gym leader. Alright, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. 
There we go, roller skates. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions on roller skates. I don't need instructions on roller skates. So go on, it's your turn. Try gliding about like me. Awesome! Awesome, awesome, let's test it. Oh! Oh! Off to bit. Oh! Oh! I don't want to fall over! No, here we go. I think I'm getting this. I think I'm getting it. There we go. There we go. Look at me go. That is ah. Oh, I am gliding. That way. Woo. Do a little spin. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I bumped into someone. Do a little spin like that. Wee. Oh my gosh. Look at me go. Wow. I didn't know I had this in me. I am going to spend about 15 hours roller skating now because this is ever so fun. I will catch you next time. You're awesome. And we will definitely be battling the gym. We'll see what challenges it has to offer me. Catch you next time. You're awesome. Bye-bye, everybody. Who's that Pokemon on the screen right there that I've drawn? Who is it? I don't know. I've forgotten. You'll have to tell me. And then we'll find out next time. <laughs>